I would say that this is a passionate love story which revolves around two individuals trying to make sense of their lives through the prism of art and science. I was at a party and I met this extraordinary artist, Jane Grisewood, who was about to go to Tucson to spend a month with a bunch of astronomers. And I did something I've never done before, which is to ask if I could follow her. And, you know, I think she thought I might have been a bit of a stalker. We got over that. And I just found the idea of an artist in amongst scientists really fascinating. And I could see the mix of American and English, male and female, science and art, and that was irresistible. Hugely different. First of all, in film you're an adjunct to the director's vision. In theatre you are given the respect due to someone who has created the play. And your lines are learned by the actors and spoken by the actors, and this may sound odd, but in film that's not always so. Lots of movie actors improvise around a theme which was once your screenplay. So there's that, and there's the fact that you are in rehearsal with actors, it's incredibly intimate, and I really miss that, and I'm completely in love with the process. He has brought an incredible amount, and it's been a big learning curve for me watching him. He enables the actors to let go, and to experiment. He's incredibly, he's brilliant at containing other people's anxiety. He has a vision for the piece which has to do with his love of art himself and he can see that there is a fantastic potential for a great conversation in the play and he wants to try and kind of contain it within a very um, specific set which is really exciting. The set for the play is really thrilling for me because when you've imagined it on the page and you see it so Mike brings a, a, a brilliant visual eye a brilliant sense of tone and pace so all the sorts of things that a neurotic writer needs to let go of and offer to someone else well the key thing is it's it's an experimental space you're not reviewed and what that does is it liberates you to push to try for ideas, for ways of staging, for um, uh, thematic weight in a way that you might hesitate from doing if you thought you were going to be exposed. So there's that. There's also the fact that it's done, in my case, at very short notice and with an enormous amount of goodwill from a huge number of people. Budget's quite tight, but that doesn't limit the imagination and the ambition for the space. So it's a combination of ambition, experimental uh, courage and the fact that you are allowed to play.